to do what I want to do when I want to do it and I don't care who's standing in my way I'm going to do it. So there's this thing I do with my abs. I'm gonna have to take my shirt off to show you guys what it is. Yay. Well, I will most probably always be in a bikini in the swimming pool just yeah. Also I, I like showing skin so it's a good excuse. Oh, oh my god hey <laughs> myself that I was gonna calm down not scream too much <laughs> be ladylike come on here give you guys the breakdown of what is happening but I can't keep calm Woo! Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel my name is Gloria Elijah this is frankly speaking with glory and I am the girl with the T and guys tonight is the official launch of Big Brother Titans first of its kind this is not Big Brother in Zambia or Big Brother South Africa this is not Big Brother Niger this just as Ebuka and Lawrence said, it's Big Brother Titans, first of its kind. It's going to be explosive. And guys, tonight's launch show was simply explosive. It was amazing. Starting with the all females grand opening of the launch show. Woo! Who was that female drummer again? If you know their names, please just drop it in the comment section below. But aside the female drama, the all-round female grand opening was an insane concept. And this is thumbs up to the organizers. They outdid themselves on this one. That grand opening, guys, I will never forget in a hurry. Now, aside the grand opening, um, Lawrence and Ebuka's entrance. Woo! I mean, do you guys know that I actually have a crush on Ebuka. I know Ebuka is married, yes, but I also have a crush on Lawrence. And this is like two tall cocktail glasses of, you know, chocolate goodness. And I'm looking at those two men and I'm wondering, like, okay, any mini mini mo, who, who do I choose right now? But, anyways, guys, aside all of that good stuff, the big reveal of the mansion. You see that mansion? Ha <laughs> ha! We're not ready. We are not ready. I'm gonna have to do a separate video. To explain what exactly the mansion is all about because there's a lot of um, nostalgia that that mansion is bringing to me right now but then moving on to the biggest thing that we have all been waiting for housemates guys i must give this one again to the organizers the housemate selection is insane these housemates are fine they are fine the, guys i don't even know what to say but anyways let's start with the first housemate that was introduced to us tonight i'm talking about none other than kosi kosi is not a slay queen ladies and gentlemen so if you see kosi walking around the house half naked just know that that is a woman in her full power kosi has two degrees and is working towards her masters she is a working journalist she has a whole lot going for her she's not a slay queen meaning in her own definition that men do not give her money to take care of herself she works for her own shit she works for everything that she owns and she's there to win the money she's there to have fun she's there to play the game but now to housemate number two this is yemi craig yemi is a tall duck chocolate nigerian fine boy <laughs> from making to state yemi is really really fine guys i can't even stop saying yemi is fine but it kind of reminds me of leo leo from the double waha last season yeah if you all remember leo yeah but this is yemi yemi's strategy is to play the game to win head of house challenge to win a lot of tasks to really be very very competitive ladies and gentlemen the question is do you think that being competitive is going to help Yemi win that $100,000. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. Moving on to housemate number three. Housemate number three is none other than Juicy J. His name is actually Sia, yes. And this is a shout out to one of our subscribers here called Sia. Okay, so his name is actually Sia. But for the sake of the show, <laughs> we are going to be referring to him as Juicy J. Juicy J is a professional um, rugby player, but... For the sake of this show, it is here to actually have fun. And 
interact, learn about Nigerian culture. And guys, I don't know if you all noticed that Ibuka and Lawrence were asking the housemates what they hoped to learn from both the Nigerian culture and the South African culture. Yeah, and guys, I mean, I feel like that's actually a good sign because this is part of the conversation we had during our live stream yesterday, you know, where we talked about um, the cultural impact of the show and ladies and gentlemen i'm super excited that right from the launch show um these two amazing hosts are already instilling it in the consciousness of the housemates that hey you're not just going into that house to play a game but you're also there you know to soak yourself in the cultural experience of your fellow housemates regardless of where they are from but anyways guys we're going to talk more about that now moving on pick number four is olivia olivia is a female nigerian influencer according to her one of our biggest achievement is buying a house um in the vgc area of lagos guys vgc area is kind of pricey so that's huge for her I'm super excited for her um for her she wants to play the game win the money and take care of her family pursue her dreams as well however olivia from first impression seems like a very very laid back chilled kind of girl and i am wondering like hmm babe hey, hey it's like you're bringing the fire into this house or you are not and olivia came with the vibe of i'm just going into the house to be myself hey <laughs> and i'm wondering like okay here we go again the i'm going into the house to be myself type of people but let's keep our fingers crossed and see how that works out for olivia because guys in case she forgot or in case we are not really aware this is big brother titans not bb niger where everybody is claiming to go in there to be themselves so let's see how olivia is able to be herself <laughs> and last to day 72 and possibly win the money anyway housemate number five is none other than nelisa ladies and gentlemen nelisa came on the stage Okay, not even on the stage, but right from her interview, she came with that main character energy. And she said it, that she is the main character, that um, trouble, controversy just has a way of following her around. And I'm like, girl, why won't drama follow you around? Because you look like a little tiny box of firecrackers, guys. So Melissa, guys, is presenting herself to be the drama queen of the house. Uh -huh. On to housemate number six, we're talking about Black Boy. Black Boy is from just in nigeria he is a videographer he is a content creator this dude is a very very chilled guy ladies and gentlemen and it's one it's making me wonder like okay bro bro how are you gonna play this game <laughs> how are you gonna play this game however i am not really losing hope and i'm not gonna be too hasty to jump into conclusions because you see those people that always act like you don't have a strategy at the end of the day <laughs> you'll be shocked because they're gonna come with a truckload of crazy things that are gonna be happening now housemate number seven is Melly. Melly comes across as a very very laid-back kind of guy very very chilled doesn't like wahala <laughs> and i'm looking at this dude and i'm wondering like bro you are on big brother titans do you have the kind of energy to bring all of that drama but but you know what I'm not going to start doubting any of your housemates because, ladies and gentlemen, you know how it happens on this show. People come through bragging, I'm going to bring drama, I'm going to... Guess what? They get into the house and it's zero drama. But then those ones who do not even plan to bring on the drama, drama just has a way of getting attached to them, following them everywhere. So I'm looking at Melly and I'm wondering, like, okay, bro, <laughs> my eyes are on you. Now, housemate number eight is Nana from Kaduna in Nigeria. Nana says that she's a dropout, but she went into business of selling bags and I think shoes or clothes. I can't remember which one, but she, she's into business anyways. But according to her, it's not really paying and that's why she's on Big Brother. Yes, she's on Big Brother to win the money, to flirt, <laughs> to have fun. And ladies and gentlemen, I cannot wait to see how that's going to play out. I know another interesting thing about this housemate. Aside Kosi, the first housemate that mentions that she's in a relationship with a Nigerian man. I think she mentioned the person is Igbo, right? All the other housemates have been claiming <laughs> single ship status quo. And I'm like, okay, very soon we'll start seeing receipts all over the internet about the one that is engaged and the one that is possibly married. Guys, I'm here for all of that juicy gossip. But anyways, moving on straight up onto housemate number nine. Housemate number nine is Ipeleng. I hope I got that pronunciation right. Now, Ipeleng reminds me of Yoli of Big Brother Nzamzibeke Lebeke. Ladies and gentlemen, Ipeleng 
mentioned that she's studying i think um african philosophy i think and i got really interested in that because she also reminded me of Dimo, the winner of big brother and zamzi who is a sangoma yes but according to ifeleng she's here to promote africa african culture and all whatnot but she's not ready to port to nigeria because nigeria is too far so she's an african to the core and she's going to remain in south africa so if she's going to go into a relationship it's going to be with the south african brothers so ladies and gentlemen we're going to see how ifeleng intends to use her presence her knowledge her height because from what she said on that stage she likes to hide right but then her presence is very very obvious so let's see how she's going to keep to herself you know promote you know her philosophy and promote africa as well anyways moving on to the next housemate housemate number 10 marvin got me sweating ladies and gentlemen i can't remember the last time i sweated like that on that ac marvin came with the abs a chemical engineer that is fine looking that is fresh whose mother is a bb niger let me not call her fanatic but a bb niger fan encouraging her son to go participate on the show this dude came in all of his glory yes that's me in all of me <laughs> He came with all of his glory. He came with the smooth vibes. He came with the steps. According to him, the Saturday night parties are going to be ringing his name all through the house. Marvin is the 10th housemate for Big Brother Titans. He's there to have fun. He's there to enjoy the game. Obviously to win the money, but basically to have fun and to enjoy the experience. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's watch out and see. I'm going to be keeping my eyes on that guy. Uh, housemate number 11 is Talang. Talang is is a very very cool 21 year road that works with a company that's sort of multinational yes he did not say the name of the company anyways but aside being passionate about his job he's also very passionate about the entertainment industry he wants to go into acting which he did as a child but he would love to go back to acting go back to hosting he would love to own his own youtube channel yes hi there potential youtuber he wants to be a youtuber as well he wants to go into all-round entertainment and um another interesting thing about this young man is he has learned a lot about living on his own and most of the time we're going to find him cleaning a lot in the house because that is where he finds his peace but then we know how it is with um, big brother mansions people who have ocd sometimes do not have the upper hand because there are a lot of dirty dirty children that are very very naughty that i would would, would intentionally want to keep everywhere dirty so let's see if i'm um, challenged plan to keep the old house clean will work on the long run. Housemate number 12 is none other than JP, a female nurse from Lagos, Nigeria. JP is the mother freaking life of the party, just as she called herself. She's there for the fine boys. She's there to party. She's there to have fun. She's there to go freaky. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking at this daughter of Zion and I'm wondering like, but well, you're a nurse. <laughs> how come you're so crazy already but you know what ladies and gentlemen i was loving her vibe already and i cannot wait to see how she's going to navigate her way around the females of the house because she also mentioned that she does not actually flow well with the female species meaning she's gonna be a guy's girl in the house and we know how that normally works on big brother yes there's gonna be a lot of beef there's gonna be a lot of drama rivalry even yes but i would love to see all of that drama i mean at the end of the day <laughs> that's why we're here anyways moving on to housemate number 13. Oh. housemate number 13 is yaya from south africa now yaya's opening speech on our interview guys our interview video completely cracked me up like to paraphrase what she said sis was saying that she hopes that there is nobody in that house that would want to use her peace of mind for clout for fame and i'm like okay sis <laughs> first of all this is a show of clout this is a show for the clout chasers you're chasing clout and that is why you're there and this girl also went ahead to talk about how she lost the show skin she's gonna be wearing bikini most of the time yes and when the booker asked her what that was all about because she also said that she was there to play the game she said yeah that the essence of her wearing bikinis all the time is to create a distraction in the house so that she will win the money and i said look at this girl <laughs> look at this girl is that not somebody's or people's peace of mind that you came all the way from south africa to biggie's house to come and rob them off and you're talking about you hope nobody is you know what yeah she's a vibe she's a vibe and personally 
I am looking forward to seeing how Yaya is going to navigate her way around Big Brother's mansion with her game plan. Number 14 is Ebubu. Ebubu, in other words, I think his name is actually Ebuka. Yes, so not to confuse it to be the Ebuka, our amazing host. Yes, his name is Ebubu. Ebubu is from Anambra State, Nigeria. Now, guys, there's something really unique about Ebubu, which I found quite impressive about the selection process of the organizers this is the first time ever that we're having an is it albino or albino the big brother platform and guys i was really impressed i was really impressed and i was super excited about it and this young man has this larger than life personality he sounds like an intellectual the way he was speaking his mannerisms guys Everything was just spelling and, you know, just preaching refinement. And personally, I cannot wait to see how he gives us a show. And moving on to housemate number 15. Housemate number 15 is Luke. According to Luke, he is a sales rep, yes, with a company. He had intentions of participating in last year's Bibi and Zamzi, but he felt like he did not know himself enough. But now he knows himself. He's sure of himself. He knows what he wants. And this is his time. He is here to win the money to back the title of the Titan of Big Brother Titans. Guys, this dude was sounding so commanding, so authoritative, so powerful, so confident. And you know what they say about housemates to go into Big Brother's house, you know, all confident and all, you know, ready and all. You never know what's waiting for you inside that house remember it's a confined space everybody coming up with their strategies with their games but this dude is ready to be the king of africa <laughs> housemate number 16 is jenny O. yes a nigerian health specialist yes according to her she is very very strong-willed she's very very stubborn very very stubborn she makes sure that she gets away with anything that she sets her mind to do and for that people see her as a strong-headed person yes but the housemates would definitely need to learn to love her and accept her anyways according to what she said but ladies and gentlemen i am seeing a lot of drama i'm seeing a lot of rivalry in terms of female energy alpha female energy in that mansion but on the flip side side <laughs> the fact that she mentioned that she is a practicing health specialist guys got me all excited because now i know that yes finally we're gonna have a health and environmental police in biggest house but the question is is she gonna be the one that makes sure that all the rest of the housemates are on their toes with their cleaning habits or is she gonna be the one that's bringing all the trash and garbage into biggest house moving on to housemate number 17 we have tatty tatty guys the spelling of this young woman's name is so unique tatty is an african she is a scholar in the making ladies and gentlemen this is someone that is a biomedical scientist a science that she's also studying she's actually studying to become that she's also studying to be a mechanical engineer according to her she's studying for both degrees so that at the end of the day she becomes a powerful force guys look at tati <laughs> And then look at all of these degrees that she's bagging. That is one brainiac we're talking about. However, I cannot wait to see the other fun side or the other strategic side or the other dramatic side or petty or spiteful or vengeful or nice or cool side of Tati. Moving on to housemate number 18. Housemate number 18 is Nigerian. Kanaga Jr. That's his name. Now, this dude, of all he was saying, the only thing that my ears were catching was this guy loves himself too much <laughs> of course he's got the height he's handsome he's good looking very very young got this retro vibes got the gen and this gen z vibe as well but this guy is very very confident in himself and according to him we're going to be seeing him a lot in front of the mirrors in biggest house so let's watch out for that now moving on to housemate number 19. housemate number 19 is justin from east london in south africa according to him he is a photographer he is a content creator um, on different social media platforms yes and he is participating on Big Brother Titans simply because of representation. According to him, he's not seen a lot of people that look like him or talk like him or sound like him. To be very honest, I don't really know what that means. I would have said probably 
because of the color of his skin yes because we picked for that in samzi we had a lot of black 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 people not really people that are really white yes or of any other type of race from south africa so i don't really know what he means but we're going to find out uh, when the drama begins on the show finally for the last but not the least housemate that was introduced to us tonight. And I put emphasis on tonight because you know one thing about Big Brother shows, you never know, they just might introduce some impromptu, you know, additional housemates, probably fake housemates, or maybe um, late comments one week late or two weeks late, we don't know, it might happen. So anyways, moving on, yes, the last and 20th housemate that was introduced to us tonight is Yvonne. Yvonne is from Aquabum State, from Nigeria, and already, Yvonne is giving us this our usual Big Brother Niger kind of vibes. According to her, she's bringing the drama, she's bringing the violence, she's bringing vibes. She's going to be unforgettable. That's what she's telling us. That's what she's selling to us. And we're going to wait and see. She's not intimidated by anybody, cannot be intimidated by anybody. So we're going to see how she, she, she survives. <laughs> in big brother's house she's also a skin um skincare enthusiast and that's all the 20 housemates that was introduced to us tonight ladies and gentlemen tell me in the comment section who you're rooting for already who are you liking already who is the most beautiful in your eyes who is the most handsome in your eyes who is giving you the vibes already who's giving you the drama already who's giving you the energy already who's giving you the titan energy already let me know your opinion your thoughts about the housemate selection process as well in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another video very very soon and trust me if you're looking for the most detailed factual and accurate analysis of this particular show yes big brother titans you totally need to subscribe to this channel turn on post notification and do not miss out on any of my videos and that's all for this particular episode of frankly speaking with gloria elijah thank you all so much for watching have an amazing night rest bye